Latin square designs traditionally hold alphabetical letters that do not occur more than once uh, in each row or each column. As you can see here, my name Frank, the letter F does not appear um, more than once in the column across and the rows that go down and uh, the same goes for R, A, N, K, so on. Latin squares in statistics are traditionally used to compare three sets of conditional values. So let's start off by talking about the structure of the square itself. Um, each row represents one type of condition that affects the values within. Uh, the columns represent a second condition and the, each square represents the third condition affecting the variables. Potentially the best use for Latin square application would be in experiments with at least three conditions affecting the outcome. It is also definitely worth mentioning how all the factors are squared in the sense that the types of each condition are equal to the amount of types of the other two conditions. Let's take a look at this experiment here. For this Latin square, we have the three conditions being the trial uh, from A to E, the temperature condition uh, ranging from 50 to 250 Kelvin, and of course the different types of designs we are testing in this hypothetical experiment. Um, now what we are searching for is the time survived or however long an experiment continued to produce a desired outcome uh, in a matter of seconds. We see the value in the top left square is calculated by combining these three conditions. Trial E with a temperature of 50 degrees Kelvin using design 1. The same goes for all the other values in the matrices calculated by combining the three separate data parameters or conditions that affect the experiment. I find it very interesting that the same n times n array of data here is used for both Sudoku puzzles and for designing experiments. It just goes to show the versatility of applying Latin squares when using critical thinking and organization to solve a problem, especially in engineering.